After the astounding success of the Kursk offensive, Ukraine is now going to launch a major offensive in Crimea. Some really devilish designs of the US and Ukraine have emerged where a top US general has predicted that Ukraine will attempt at taking back Crimea within the next three months with full support from Washington DC. Retired US commanding general Ben Hodges said, We could be 100% clear to Ukraine and Russia that we are 100% in favor of them retaking Crimea however they do it. And then he added, there will be no US stepping the brakes if they take down that Kerch bridge, which I do predict is going to happen this year. So Kyiv plans to blow up the Kerch bridge again. Let's know more about the significance of this bridge. It is Russia's only physical connection to Crimea. It stretches 19 kilometers from the region of Krasnodar Krai to the eastern side of the peninsula. It was opened by Vladimir Putin himself in 2018. Russia has been using this bridge to supply Crimea and troops fighting on the front lines with war material. Crimea is home to the main base of the Black Sea Fleet and a network of airfields for conducting air strikes on almost the entire depth of Ukraine. As per media reports, Ukraine's plan is to turn Crimea into a graveyard for Russian air defense systems. Ukraine had first attacked the Kerch Bridge in October two years back, collapsing part of its road deck into Sea of Azov. Now they want to blow it up in full using long-range missiles and massive explosives given by US and UK. General Hodges said, You are not going to take it out with two or three Storm Shadows or ATACMS long-range missiles or something like that. You are going to need an enormous amount of explosives. So this is going to be an operation with several different phases and aspects. Well, I must say, General Hodges is a master of building castles in the air. Firstly, he should know that even when the Kerch Bridge is not functioning, Russia can easily ferry supplies to Crimea using sea routes. At a time when Russian naval assets are prowling in UK and US waters, would it be so difficult for Russia to safeguard its own vessels in the Black Sea, which is like its own front yard? Also, how are they going to transport those massive explosives to the bridge by sea, right? Now imagine you are firing those explosives on a vessel in Russian waters and a flying Chernobyl missile hits you. You are going to be mushroomed. You know what I mean. Also, you should take into account the will of the Russian speaking population of Crimea. In a referendum two years back, vast majority voted in favor of its annexation with Russia. So even if you drive out Russian troops from Crimea, will you also force out pro-Russia people? That would only worsen Kyiv's position on eastern Ukraine where Moscow claims a pro-Russia wave prevails. And lastly, if any such Crimea offensive happens, Ukraine will be forced to further stretch its resources, leaving front lines in eastern Ukraine exposed. It may allow Russia to penetrate even deeper and cut off the supply chains of troopers fighting on the borders with Russia. So all in all, the proposed Kerch offensive is a plan that only Western media and Western elites can buy.